Let's shift our focus to Pakistan now. Section 144 has been imposed in Pakistan's capital Islamabad and the Punjab province, restricting public gatherings in view of the nationwide protests which have been called by Pakistan Tehreek and Saf led opposition bloc, that is the Tehreek Tahfuz AI in Pakistan. The stir has been called for the release of party prisoners, including former Prime Minister Imran Khan. TTAP has invited all the opposition parties and the people of Pakistan to join the protests. The decision for the countrywide protest was taken amid PTI's hunger strike camps in Islamabad, Lahore and Peshawar. The protest is aimed to highlight the opposition's three primary demands, that is, an end to the unprecedented inflation, establishment of peace and the release of Imran Khan and what they call other political prisoners. The opposition TTAP alliance includes political parties like the Pashtunkhwa Milia Wami Party and the Majlis Wahadat e Muslim, Muslimin, while PKMAP Chief Mahmood Khan called Imran Khan as the most popular leader in Pakistan. The MWM Chairman Alma Raja Nazir Abbas said that Imran Khan has the support of 99% of Pakistanis. The call for Friday protest coincided with the announcement from Jamaat e Islami for a sit in in Islamabad against inflation and the power tariff hike. Section 144 has been imposed by the Punjab Home Department and Islamabad's local administration. It empowers to prohibit an assembly of four or more people in an area for a limited period. The call for nationwide protests came on the back of some legal and political developments as well that seemed to have boosted the confidence of the opposition bloc. The Lahore High Court on Thursday nullified the physical remand orders against former Prime Minister Imran Khan in 12 cases related to the 9th of May incidents. The Pakistan Election Commission notified 39 returned members of national assemblies as PTI lawmakers after the Supreme Court order. The Islamabad High Court declared jail trial of former Minister Fawad Chaudhry in ECP contempt case as null and void. The District and Sessions Court of Islamabad acquitted 14 individuals, including Shah Mahmood Qureshi, in the 9th of May cases. Well, the opposition parties are all set to protest here in Islamabad and across the country on what they say is calling for a release of political prisoners, including Imran Khan to uh, ensure that there is constitutional supremacy and that to bring an end to the heightened inflation. Now that's what the opposition bloc claims, but what you see behind me are shipping containers that have been placed uh, that goes inside to the uh, entrance of uh, the red zone that houses all of the key governmental buildings. The protest is set to begin after Friday prayers uh, and uh, the government is prepared. The government has uh, imposed section 144 uh, not just in uh, Islamabad where I am but across the province of Punjab. Uh, the opposition alliance, all of the parties of the opposition have called on these protests jointly. So it remains to be seen as to how uh, it, the day will pan out because in case if uh, uh, if the protesters come out in numbers uh, and in case if the government ends up using force uh, then that would mean uh, that there is no relief that would be inside for the pakistan tehreek and saf uh, uh, contrary to what the popular belief would have been anas malik islamabad pakistan for beyond world is one for latest news download the v on app and subscribe to our youtube channel